three main functions. First function, as I said, that person is walking down the street, the car is blowing its horn, he can't hear it, which puts him in danger. So what the application does is the mobile vibrates, and it vibrates in a special manner, so he's alerted and he goes around, oh, there's a car. Just as a normal person would hear the sound of a car, but instead of hearing it, he feels the vibrations. Not just cars, a person screaming, any loud noise really. So the phone vibrates every time there's a loud noise? Exactly. And if he's like at a party or something and there are it's it's surrounded by... set a limit for the sound. You know, if it exceeds the limit, uh, you get a vibration in the research. So you're alerted if you have dangerous situations. So if there's like a loud party, he can raise the threshold and it won't keep on vibrating all the time. And then he can lower it later. The second function is mainly for useful sounds, everyday sounds such as doorbell. So uh, deaf people can't hear all sounds, so the, the application assists them in case uh, someone rings the doorbell. It uh, sends a message, you know, the notification, the mobile the phone vibrates and uh, in a different pattern than the first uh, function and uh, shows a message that the doorbell is ringing. Just like a usual notification, okay, doorbells cool. ringing, the fire alarms ringing, whatever, we can add stuff later. Uh, the third function is uh, in communication, like we're talking and you can hear me and I can hear you. But a deaf person can't hear me and he can't, usually he can't speak to me because usually people who are deaf also have trouble speaking. So, so it uses uh, text-to-speech and speech-to-text engines to, to uh, help uh, com uh, help in easier communication with people. So it, uh, the person could uh, write the message he wants to say to the deaf person, the user, writes the message and the phone talks. Then he reports the, the other person's uh, message and it transforms into text. Cool. So it will be like a conversation and the, the mobile phone will be like the surrogate. Like it, here it listens for the deaf person and it speaks for him. And he just types whatever he wants to say and hears whatever the other person has to say through the, the text. Very cool. What brought you guys to Startup Weekend Beirut? Well, um, here for different reasons. Um, uh, my mom, she works at BAU and she told me there's this project. And they liked our project too. Yeah. I told her about the project and she told it to uh, the entrepreneurship uh, the club, I think it's the club. So uh, when they heard about the event, they called us and they're like, we, we want you to come with us. And uh, Danny, he studies at the university and we met him here at the, uh, after we pitched our idea, he liked it. And uh, uh, Nelly also liked the idea, so she gave to us as the designer, and so our team. So we're now building the application. So do you guys want to build startups after you leave Startup Week in Beirut? Hopefully. We don't know what the next step is. We're just taking baby steps, as they say. Like, we're finishing now the weekend. We're going to see where it takes us. And then later on, uh, there's a method now. There's a proverb Every uh, for every accident there is a dog. Like I can't really translate it, but it means whatever happens will act accordingly. Yeah, yeah. Great, awesome. You guys are students. High school students. We're high school students. University students. She's a graduate. Cool.